Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, November 25th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Book of Legends. Hmm. Is this talking about a specific book? I'm not sure. Range across eight countries. I wonder if this is the Ural Mountains. Or maybe it's the Alps, actually. That sounds more likely. Let's try that. Let's put in Alps. Travail. Hmm. So this is like an exploit? Or is it kind of something tough that you have to endure? Travail. Hmm. I'm not sure what to put here. Like a ne'er-do-well? This is someone who's up to no good. Hmm. There's a lot of words that could describe someone like that. Artful. That should be sly. Yeah. So this ends in an L. Hmm. I'm still not sure. <laughs> well, I like the Y at the end of this one. I still have no idea. Book of Legends. Hmm. Shaping tool. I wonder if that's an ads. That's a woodworking tool. Closed up. It feels like this could go a lot of different directions. Let's take a look at these long answers here. I'm feeling pretty certain about Alps, so at least we have the first letters. Funny bones. And this is wordplay, so this isn't about the funny bone in your elbow. Funny bones. This isn't talking about Dr. McCoy, I don't think. I think Bones would be capitalized in that case. Funny Bones, hmm. Cheesy Snack Pockets. Well, it definitely looks like it's gonna start with pizza. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna end. Closed up, yeah. Hmm. This has a Z in it now. Ne'er-do-well, maybe this is lazy. That would make sense. Is this toil? And then this could be Atlas. Oh my god, they're not talking about mythological legends. They're talking about legends on a map, and you would find those in an Atlas. That is very, very tricky. I think this is gonna be toil. That sounds pretty good. And then this is gonna start with load? Funny bones. Hmm. I'm still not sure what this should be. Man, I guess we're going to have to start fresh somewhere. Site of 2022's Woman Life Freedom Protests. Those are happening in Iran, right? Let's see if we can build off of that. Whiners, you can't make me? Hmm. I won't do it? That doesn't quite fit. Tick off. I wonder if this is Ryle. Org originally founded to support conscientious objectors. Is that the ACLU? I don't think I knew that. That's very interesting. Coffee brewing portmanteau. With that N in there, I'm going to guess that this is Nespresso. Yeah, and that does fit. Is this loaded dice? Oh my god, bones is a slang term for dice. And they're funny because they're loaded. Wow, that is super tricky. I love that clue. That is phenomenal. Wow. Um, hmm, I still have no idea here. Problem for a plumber. Well, it's not a clog. Hmm. This looks like it's going to start with, I don't. I wonder if it's going to be, I don't wanna? That would be something a whiner would say. Let's see if we can build through that. List of Players. Yeah, that's going to be a lineup for a baseball game. Expressed joy in a way. Hmm. They must be talking about a very specific way of expressing joy. Closed up. That'll be sealed. What is this? A drip. Oh, it's a drip in a sink. Okay. Expressed joy. Maybe this is wept. You're so happy you're crying. Balls up is going to be wads up. Sour. Maybe that's go bad, as food might do, yeah. Costumer's measurement. Costumer's. Is it girth? Is that right? 
touch for one. I guess there was an iPod touch, right? Yeah. Ohio Sluggers. Well, there's the Cincinnati Reds. They're in Ohio. Let's see if we can get these long downs here. London has a royal one. This is starting to look like it's going to begin with opera. Yeah, maybe it's a royal opera house. I don't know if I've ever heard of that, but that seems like a pretty good guess. Performer whose face is rarely seen. Maybe this is a body double? Nice, okay. Let's see if we can confirm these. Sample is try, that looks good. Enjoyed oneself tremendously. I really want this to be had a blast, yeah. Rocking toy to a tot. Okay, we all learned this lesson last week. This is a horsey with a Y, not just a horse. Purchase for a creative kid. I think that should be an art set. What do we have on these acrosses? Sulk. That's going to be pouch. Barbecue blends. I think that'll be rubs. Cruise stop often. That'll be an aisle. And heated competition. And this is wordplay, so this is not just about the competition being very fierce. I think this is going to be a competition where the races are in heats. That would be a track meet. That's a pretty good pun there. And then we have Prim for Puritanical. Yeah, that looks good. Reading Rainbow Error. That was on PBS. I loved that show. Garment that's pulled over the head. Hmm. Is this being tricky? A garment. Well, it's kind of looking like it could be Poncho, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Canoodles in England. I think this is going to be Snogs. That's a fun one. Actress Tomei. That's Marissa Tomei. And what do we have on this long across here? Court authorities. And this is wordplay, so I don't think this is going to be about customs agents at a shipping port. I think this is going to have to be something to do with wine, because port is a kind of wine. And it does look like it starts with wine. Authorities. Maybe it's wine snobs? That would be a really fun piece of fill. This is IROX, classic Camaros, yeah. I think this stands for International Race of Champions. What do we have here? Late assignment. Maybe that's the night shift? Yeah. Megan Rapinoe's team. Well, she plays soccer for the USA. The Mayans Chichen Itza EG. Um... That's a big pyramid, right? So maybe that's ruins? Let's see if that's right. Enlist. I wonder if that's rope in. Let's see if we can confirm that. Biryani base. Yeah, you have that on a base of rice. Okay. Green giant, maybe? Hmm. I don't think they're talking about the spokesperson, the green giant. What other kind of green giant could they be talking about? Hmm, maybe like a windmill? I'm not sure. Blank party. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one either. Site for artisans. Okay, that's gonna be Etsy. Boy, is that shown up a lot. Wrigley. Is that gonna be Ely? Like an eel? Maybe this is a pool party. Okay. Hmm. I still don't know. Is it an ogre? Beats me, an equivalent phrase. Yeah, maybe it's I got no idea. That's very informal. Mule EG. We want this to be an R. I guess that would be a crossbreed, right? Between a donkey and a horse? Yeah. Upper arm muscle for short. Uh, hmm. Shouldn't this be a try? So this is not, I got no idea. Hmm. What is it going to be instead? This is a try. Actress Spacek, that's sissy Spacek. Hmm. Blank gone, Hall and Oates hit. I think that she's gone. Quiches EG. I guess they would be an example of a pie, right? 
So this would be pies. I got nothing. It's still very casual with that alighted G. Blank folder. That could be the spam folder in your email. Tan. What is this? It's not handy. Uh, interesting. I'm not sure what this is talking about. Hmm. Film about fish tanks. And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be a movie about fish tanks. I think this is going to be a film that forms in fish tanks. That could be scum, yeah. Okay. Psychologist Jung? That was Carl Jung. Some coffee or ice cream orders. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure about this. It's not going to be talking about scoops, I don't think. Title girl of a 1957 Dale Hawkins hit. Oh boy, I definitely don't know that. This is looking a little weird. M-S-O-L-Y? Annual bodybuilding competition won 10 times by Iris Kyle. Maybe it's something like Ms. Olympian? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on the end. Let's see. Came down. Yeah, shouldn't that be a lit? Oh, I spelled Olympian wrong. I forgot the M. This should be Olympia, maybe? That works with a lit. Yeah, that looks much better. Um, maybe this is mochas. That makes sense for both coffee and ice cream. Like some contraceptives. I think this has to be oral. Please, an equivalent phrase. This has to be can I. Let's see if we can get these long acrosses here. Animal that's more akin to a squirrel than a canine, despite its name. Okay, so it's got to have something to do with a dog. It's got to be a prairie dog, yeah. And then what is this? Bond issuer. And this is wordplay, so this is not about a government issuing bonds. I think this is going to be the person that issued James Bond, the author. That would be Ian Fleming. That's also very, very clever. I like that one. Um, is it Suzy Q? I think I have heard of that song. And this is Sandy Tan. Yeah, I guess they're describing a color. Campus squares. That's going to be quads. So we have an emu here. Creature frequently depicted in indigenous Australian art. Yeah, I'd imagine that's true. Blank Victoria. Singer known for her gothic blues style. Ooh, I've never heard of this singer before. Setting for many a Monet painting. That's got to be a pond. He painted a lot of lily pads. So what do we have on the across here? Parrot. Yeah, that's going to be ape. You're imitating someone, right? Okay, so that means this is going to be Adia Victoria. Yeah, I've definitely never heard of her. Gothic blues, very interesting. All right, well, let's throw this A in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Friday puzzle in just under 26 minutes. That's a good average Friday time. I definitely think the highlight of this Friday puzzle was the wordplay cluing on some of these long across answers. Look at these. Funny bones for loaded dice. That's probably my favorite of the puzzle. That is really, really clever. But we've got a bunch of other good ones too. Port authorities for wine snobs. That's very funny. And also I loved bond issuer for Ian Fleming. That's hilarious. I liked this tricky clue for Atlas too. Book of Legends. That was a great way to kick off the puzzle. And this puzzle just had a bunch of really good long fill in general. Body Double, Ms. Olympia, Night Shift, I Got Nothing. Yeah, these are all great. All right, well, I hope you had a blast solving this Friday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, the Saturday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.